Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, 2020 is almost over. And so we're all looking forward to a much better, happier 2021, especially cruise fans and the cruise industry. And one of the ways that we can start to look forward to 2021 is, you know what? We missed a lot of new ships sailing this year. Let's look at the new ships sailing in 2021, at least 10 of them. So yes, I will be doing a more in-depth, detailed review of most of these ships on their own and I'll create a playlist for all the new ships coming up in 2021. But for now, let's just top line it and talk about some of the ships that are either were scheduled in 2020 that we haven't seen yet or are going to be coming out in 2021. Ada Cruise Line has a new ship coming out, another mega cruise ship, the Ada Cosmos. And it's a monster. It can hold 6,600 passengers and it's going to be Costa's second LNG cruise ship. So that's good for the environmentalists who are looking for cleaner ships and a less carbon footprint in the world with cruise ships. So the more LNG cruise ships we get out there, the better. So Costa's bringing out their second one in their fleet already. We also have another Edge class in Celebrity Cruise Lines coming out. We have the Celebrity Apex. Yes, the Celebrity Apex is there, but no one's sailed on her yet. It hasn't gone out on a single voyage. And now it's scheduled to join the Edge in 2021. And we're going to enjoy the great dining that's on there. It's a very unique design ship. Remember, it won one of the best unique designs of the year when it came out, the Edge. And the Apex still has the flying carpet on the side, the up and down restaurant that can also be used for embarkation, disembarkation. And it's truly a unique feature on that ship. Well, not the largest ship out there. It holds about 2,900 passengers, so it'd be classed around a medium cruise ship size but it's definitely, definitely an eye catcher when you see it. And then we have another Costa ship, the Costa Toscana. And this one holds about 6,200 passengers. It's also an LNG cruise ship. And one of the unique features on this one is that it will be sailing out of Brazil during Christmas time, which is one of the first cruise ships to ever actually have a home port in Brazil for any length of time. So if you're down in that area, you definitely know you're hoping that the virus and everything is way gone by then so you can enjoy this luxury ship right out of the home country in Brazil, which could make some very unique itineraries. Now I'm going to put cruise ships four and five together. The Enchanted Princess, another in the Royal class ship. It's the second last one to come out and then they're going to a whole new design. These ships are beautiful. I love the Royal class. As you know, the Royal Princess and the Regal Princess are some of my favorite cruise ships to sail on. I love going to Alaska on the Royal and I will do it again hopefully soon or at least a Royal class ship. Enchanted Princess was supposed to set sail in the fall of 2020. Of course, everything that's happened, it hasn't, but it should be sailing one of the first ships to get going as it's its newest and biggest and brightest and shiniest. They're hoping to have it set sail early in 2021 as soon as they can. And then we have the Discover Princess is also coming out. Sorry, the Discovery Princess will also be coming out in 2021. So we are going to have three royal class ships within a year of each other. We have the Enchanted Princess, the Sky Princess, and we have now the Discovery Princess. All look beautiful ships. So yes, the entertainment on the Sky Princess blew me away. The laser show, the special effects that you haven't seen on a Princess cruise ship ever before, I'm sure the Enchanted and the Discovery will follow along the same suits as they built the entertainment center basically the exact same way. So you can expect some great, fantastic entertainment on board those ships. 
Next, we have the 5300 passenger Carnival Mardi Gras. Everyone's been waiting for this. They just took possession of the ship. It passed its sea trials. And now we're getting ready to actually see this ship in operation. It won best innovation on a cruise ship. And that, of course, is the Bolt, the roller coaster at sea. So not only is it a huge, large ship, it's an LNG ship again, great for the environment as well, great for the carbon footprint. And it's a huge mega ship that looks like a uh, Great fun, especially if you have kids. Who doesn't, what kid would not want to be on a roller coaster in the middle of the ocean? I think it looks like a great, exciting time, and people just can't wait, can't wait for this ship to arrive. Well, a lot of people have seen the MSC Seaside and absolutely love the design. It's a beautiful, beautiful ship. Uh, had a rocky start at the beginning with its uh, menu and its entertainment on board, but they changed it to more of a North American style. And I think they will have learned their lesson from that as the brand new seashore now comes to North America as well. Now, this ship is identical, except, in fact, it's considered a mega ship as it holds close to 6,000 passengers now. And like I said, the first one was an absolute stunning, stunning looking ship when you're on board. It is beautiful. And I imagine the seashore will be no different, no different at all. And I just hope that they keep the dining and they get that entertainment right like they did on the seaside. Another ship that just got rolled out and is being finished off is Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Sea, a Quantum Plus cruise ship. Just like the ship that I sailed on in Japan, it's the only other one, the Spectrum of the Sea. This has that ball in the back with a trapeze on it. It has surf simulators. It has the skydiving on it and absolutely the largest entertainment sports facility on any cruise ship. You can do bumper cars. You can do all the ping pong tables you can desire is there. Basketball courts, laser tags, you name it. They have they have trapeze artists and you can learn to be on trapeze in that sportsplex. It's an absolute monster. It's huge and no family could ever get bored in that area. There is tons and tons to do. So absolutely a lot of people are hoping to see the Quantum Plus class ship head to North America sometime soon. Uh, one of them anyway, but uh, this is gonna be the brand new one. The entertainment again on board, the Spectrum was marvelous. Uh, I don't expect anything less on the large ships from Royal Caribbean. Their entertainment is always stellar and I do not expect the Odyssey to be any different whatsoever. And of course we have P&O. It's going to serve the British market. The first large mega ship in Britain to make that its home port and it's going to be another LNG, the Iona. And it's ready. It's all set to go. It's it's there. <laughs> they just need the okay to start sailing. And this ship is huge as well. I believe it has something along the lines of 17 different restaurants on board, 15 different bars on board. So there's going to be places to eat and drink to your heart's content. It also has a very unique entertainment venue that they're kind of keeping a little secret from us, but it's a it, it looks it looks very, very, very amazing, shall we say. And don't forget, if you're worried about the cold weather, as it tends to be uh, in that area, it, you they have the Skyplex. And it's a huge glass dome uh, entertainment area. And the pool is there and it's covered. So you don't have to worry. You can still go swimming no matter what the weather is like outside. And that can come in handy when you're going through the fjords or you're you know, heading to Ireland and that, and you get those chilly breezes some days. So that ship is perfectly suited to still get your, your basic sitting by the pool and relaxing. And don't forget all the different dining options, 17 different dining options for you to choose in one location. And lastly, we have another two cruise ships. One has been supposedly ready to sail now for six months, and it hasn't, of course, with everything going on, the Scarlet Lady by Virgin. And yeah, you know, I feel so bad. Like, 
how how bad a timing it is to try and launch a cruise line right at the start of the pandemic. It's uh, just this that was not meant to be whatsoever. And of course, the Scarlet Lady is very unique. It's adult only. It's a very unique design. It looks beautiful on the outside. Some of the choices they made on the inside are very visual, uh, maybe more visual than you know, workable <laughs> is a word. Um, but yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I got, It will attract a lot of people at the beginning and it will attract a certain type of cruiser. Remember, they're not looking for the average cruiser for this cruise ship. They're looking for the new cruiser, a different experience who wants something different. And that's what they're offering. I mean, they have a tattoo parley on board. How many cruise ships have you ever heard has a tattoo parlor on board? Well, they're going to set sail hopefully sometime in 2021 now. Their next schedule, I believe, is around April. And that, by the way, is around the same time that the Valiant Lady should be ready to sail as well. The second cruise ship in the line. Now, this one will be doing the Mediterranean while the Scarlet Lady will be here in North America. So they're going to cover both areas. Uh... Again, very unique ship, very bad timing. I can't wait. I've seen people who have been on board. Some people absolutely love the ship and some people absolutely hated the ship. So it's really going to be interesting to see. But uh, again, I really hope they get going because imagine building billion dollar ships at the time the pandemic is and trying to launch a cruise industry at the time of the pandemic. Absolutely worst timing ever. Of course, there's a lot of other ships coming. These are just 10 cruise ships that are coming in 2021 that we can look forward to. We have Holland America's new Rotterdam replacing the old one that they just sold off. And so we are going to have the Rotterdam nail name back in the fleet with a brand new ship. And there's a lot of other ships coming out. Viking, Seaborn, you name it. There's a lot of them. It's going to be so much to cover. And I hope to cover them all and even get on a lot of these ships. I can't wait to get on the Enchanted Princess and the Discovery Princess. I want to get on the Odyssey of the Seas as soon as I can. I even want to try out the Scarlet Lady or the Valiant Lady. Absolutely. And I had two cruises booked with the Apex that were cancelled already. So yeah, these ships are on my bucket list to get out there and do as soon as I can. Boy, I have a lot to make up for, but the good news is I have a lot of ships coming to choose from. Let me know what you guys think. Which of these ships are you looking forward to most of all? Is there a ship I didn't mention that you say, hey, this ship is going to be a standout. We should keep an eye out for that. Well, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, and in the meantime, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.